story about um, a young girl, very talented and careful, trying to survive in a very tough world. Her world is rough, it's dark, everything is dirt and blood and it's ugly and it's messy. And uh, she will try to, to use all her skill, in fact, to create this better world. It's a post-apocalyptic world and it's a story of friendship and love and finding hope in the smallest and darkest places. Her father being paralysed, she doesn't really see him as a burden. I'm going to the old lab. On top of that though, I get the luxury of you know, still speaking but through a drone. I hate this place. So a lot of my friends have said, so what are you working on? Well, I'm playing a completely paralyzed man who communicates through a, a drone. <laughs> oh, Vespa, you don't know the cost of dreams. And he's always saying, no, Vespa, you can't do that. You can't do this. Stop that. Get food. That's it. Good to see you, Darius. Jonas. Jonas is the head of a family unit on a farm that's trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. Well, you know we can't do charity. He's trying to do deals with the Citadel, which is like this elite organization. I'm Camellia. You will not regret helping us. You have my word. She is otherworldly. At the beginning, Vesper and Camellia are kind of like animals, checking each other out, like, can I trust you? Can I use you? What can I get out of making a relationship with you? When you first meet Camellia, that's probably the most interesting thing about her is that she's just so different to anything you've ever seen. Even though they're from completely different worlds, their similarities and their, their obvious differences really strengthen their connection. I didn't realize people are hearing you so much about synthetic biology. The vermin have brains, too. Come with me. Best but it's not safe. She needs to see my work if she's taking us to the Citadel. And action! The main message that I take from it is that even in the darkest places, physically, aesthetically, emotionally, there's always hope. Don't uh, go to search uh, for this better world somewhere, but uh, try to create it where you are, where you live, and use all your potential, all your energy and dreams uh, to create your reality how you want, where you are. The best science fiction uses extreme circumstances in the future to actually tell us something about ourselves now. And that's what I think this film does very well. Please.